Welcome. This video will help to get you and your equipment ready for a smooth experience when taking your functional skills exam via a remote invigilation process. The first step is to join your invigilator in a Zoom meeting. You will have received a calendar invite in advance. You can find the Zoom link in either the invitation email or the calendar event in your diary. Your appointment will allow time for the invigilator and you to test the laptop and software for anything that might interfere with a normal exam experience. 15 minutes is generally allocated before your exam time. After you connect with your invigilator, they will go through a checklist to ensure that you are in a safe and appropriate environment before starting your exam. Please ensure that you are wearing comfortable clothes. No headwear is allowed except for religious attire. And kindly remove your wristwatch from your arm. You should have photo identification with you. Examples of acceptable forms of ID include a driver's license, a passport, a citizen's card, or an employment identification badge displaying your full name and photo with a birth certificate. You are allowed to sit in any room that offers privacy and quiet. For example, your bedroom or living room at home may be suitable. Be sure to make arrangements to have children and pets taken care of, or you may find it more convenient to go to a quiet room at your place of work. Before entering the room, please ask everyone around to ensure that you are not disturbed and that no one enters the room until you are finished. If you can put up a sign on the door, this would be ideal. Generally speaking, you'll need around two hours of privacy. The room should have as little clutter as possible with no books, papers, posters, etc. within your reach. As your exam will take place online, it is essential that you have a reliable internet connection. Please connect to the Wi-Fi of the establishment you are in. If this is not possible and you must use your phone to provide an internet connection or a hotspot, Please tell your invigilator so they can confirm this has been set up appropriately. The phone should be face down and away from your reach. Firstly, the invigilator will confirm your identity. Please show them one of the acceptable forms of ID as noted earlier. Then the invigilator will notify you that they will start recording the Zoom session. This is a requirement of the exam board. Your invigilator will ask you to show the room you are sitting in through your webcam. They will ask you to stand, hold and rotate your laptop at an angle that allows them to see the walls, floor, ceiling and desk that you will use. They will want to see under the desk. Using the mirror or a phone with the screen off in selfie mode, they will want to see your laptop keyboard and screen in the reflection. Have your blank sheets of paper ready for the invigilator to look at as well. You are allowed to bring a bottle of drink, but any labels must be removed before entering the exam room. The desk should have nothing on it except your computer, your drink if you have one, and a pen and blank paper. This list shows the minimum specifications for a computer running the exam. Your invigilator can confirm this with you if you are unsure. If you are doing maths, you are allowed to use a non-scientific calculator for portions of your assessment, but it is preferable that you use the online calculator provided within the exam. If you are doing English reading, you are allowed to use a dictionary for portions of your exam. This will be made clear to you before you start. There should be no additional notes or papers in the dictionary, either written in or attached. The first thing you should do is share your screen with the invigilator. The invigilator will check that you have a good video and audio connection with them. To ensure a reliable exam experience, you will be asked to do a broadband speed test. Launch a new browser tab and go to www.speedtest.net. Click the big go button and read the results back to the invigilator. They will then advise if it's okay to continue. The invigilator will then help you deactivate the spell checker in your browser and add-ons like Grammarly if installed. These should all be deactivated for the duration of your exam. 
During your exam, do not switch off your webcam or mute your microphone. Before starting your exam, the invigilator will share all the necessary information to get you to the exam's platform in a chat box so you can copy and paste. First, the invigilator will give you the website address or URL. Copy this from the chat box and paste it into your browser. Next, the invigilator will give you your login credentials to the portal. Simply copy the username from the chat box and paste it into the exam website login screen. Then repeat this for the password. Then the invigilator will give you another code to access your exam, the exam password. Again, copy the code from the chat box and paste it into the exam website. If the camera thumbnails, the images of you and the invigilator, get in the way, you can simply drag it to another part of your screen that isn't in the way. Let's have a look around the exam screen and get you familiar with it. Here's an example of a maths test. We'll have a look at English in a moment. In the top left, you'll see the question numbers. In this example, there are seven questions in the first section. You can click on the numbers to jump around the questions in any random order. You can also scroll through the questions with these arrow buttons, but you can only advance as far as the section you're currently working in. This display indicates that the next section must have an additional 15 questions to make a total of 22. This should help you to pace yourself. Over here, near the top right, is the timer. You can see how much time you have left for this section. The timer starts again when you commence the next section. The instructions button will show you the important details about the exam. You will have already seen these before you started, but it's available whenever you need to check it again. The question appears in the top center of the screen, and your answer is typed below it in the lower part. Over here on the right is the workings box. This is where you should type in your calculations. Be sure to use this area as it is inspected by the exam board. In maths, section A is non-calculator. Therefore, you are not allowed to use one at all. When you have finished all seven questions and you are ready to advance to section B, click the finish button, answer a few confirmation questions and move on. You'll see section B has a new set of questions, eight to 22, and the timer has reset to give us more time. You will also notice that you now have the use of an on-screen calculator. As you type in calculations, they automatically populate within the workings box, but you should also continue to type in your other workings and notes as well, as these are inspected by the exam board. Remember that on computer keyboards and in the online calculator, that the asterisk symbol means multiply and the forward slash symbol means divide. When you have completed section B and checked over your work, you can click finish. The English exam has a similar layout. In this writing example, you can see the number of questions or tasks on the left. The question or scenario is in the middle and additional information is over here on the right to help you to get the best score possible. Here is an English reading example. Again, the questions are down the left side and you can move around as you like. Over here on the right is the sample text referenced by the questions. If you need to, you can use the scroll bars to move around the sample text in case some of parts of it are hidden. We hope this video has been useful to you. We want you to be as prepared as possible to reduce any risk of an aborted or cancelled exam session. If you are watching this well in advance of your exam appointment and you have further questions, please do talk to your training consultant. All that remains is to wish you the best of luck in your exam.